sides of a question, a serious question, and still there can be civil, informative discussion. However, when you're in a state like Nebraska where the Republicans run everything, there's no need in pretending that there's equivalency, where those who disagree with Republicans have the same access and the wherewithal to utilize the instrumentality of the legislature to get things done. The Republican Party and the governor know they control people on this floor. It would be the height of naivete or disingenuousness to say that issues are put before us and we weigh on the right hand one side and the left hand the other side and whichever has the most weight has more weight is the way the legislature will go. That's not true at all. I know on some issues I will never get a majority of the votes. Let me back that up. I never thought the death penalty would be voted out by the legislature, but it was. Under ordinary circumstances, the issues that I espouse are not going to have a majority of people voting for them, even if a majority might agree with them, because they would fear political consequences. The One worst minute. of which is to say you voted with Senator Chambers and they'll forget the other 40 who may also have voted the way I voted. But has it ever occurred to them that I might be voting with those people? Those are the political realities. This that we're doing today is something that I want to look at realistically. And I haven't raised the constitutional argument as such, but pointed out what Senator Hill just touched on, that there have been states, their departments of motor vehicles prohibited certain types of things from being on the license plate, and the court upheld their right to do that. As far as Senator Shoemaker's argument, if this bill passed, the governor would make sure that the department put the words, choose life on the license plate. We know that's what would happen. Senator Watermeyer has made it clear that's his intention. So I've got to be prepared to make it as difficult and painful as possible for you to do Time, this Senator. unwise thing. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Chambers and Senator Panzing Brooks. Senator Klauski, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield the remainder of my time to Senator Chambers, please. Senator Chambers, four minutes, 45 seconds. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Senator Kalowski. I would be willing to sacrifice the mountain lion plate if we passed a bill to eliminate all message plates. I was drawn into that. And if that was going to be an instrumentality used in so many ways as it has been already, I was going to use what I could to benefit these majestic, these iconic, these regal animals whom some people want to kill for the love of killing, the enjoyment of having a creature helpless, terrified, in a tree seeking refuge, shot dead. Then they celebrate it and cheer. That's not choosing life to me. I think life other than the two-footed kind should be preserved. I'm trying to come to the aid of various four-footed creatures. Among my constituency, you'll find many two-footed creatures. And if you go back far enough, you'll find I have at least one constituent with neither legs nor feet, and it's known as a snake. Some fool in Lincoln had purchased a python and was sleeping with it, and the python bit him, and he wanted it destroyed. I read about it in the paper. So I went to that person, found out who he was and where he lived, from the reporter who first contacted him and made sure it was all right. And I gave him whatever the amount of money was to get a bill of sale for that animal. And he gave me the bill of sale. I took it to the Humane Society. I said, this is my animal and I don't want you to kill it. And the people at the Humane Society 
thank me because they didn't know how and they didn't want to do it. So I took the python and gave it to the zoo in Lincoln and they found a home for it. We should respect all life, great and small, but that's not going to be the case. Some of these creatures that are plentiful now are going to wind up, I believe, being ushered into extinction by people who kill for the sheer love of killing, who will destroy their habitat so that hotels, motels, houses for the wealthy can be constructed and the animals who were there first will be destroyed and viewed as the enemy. When I was little, I went to church. I read the Bible. And when in Genesis, God gave Adam dominion over all the creation, that was like saying, you're a steward. You're to watch out for what I'm putting under your control and guidance and care. And I want you to care for it the way I would care for it. And you see what Adam did, first of all, to Eve. Then you see what Adam has done to all the other creatures. So there must always be at least one voice saying, all of you can be on that side of the question, but there is another side of the question. And this time, the side where there is only one voice one minute. happens to be the correct side. And there will be other times when I'm going to be like the seashore and you all will be pushed by interests outside this legislature to roar and thunder. And like the seashore, I'll say, this far shall you come and no farther. And by taking time, some of those headlong mistakes, I'll be able to stop. Others, I can slow down. But I'm going to do all I can when I think the integrity of the legislature and the legislative process are being compromised to prevent that from happening. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Chambers and Senator Kowalski. Senator Shoemaker, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the body. <clears throat> I want to make it clear that as I read the, uh, the authorization in this statute, it does not authorize the wording choose life on a plate or any other language that would encourage a woman to carry a pregnancy to term. If that is what we intend, we should say so. The idea that this is patterned after some other laws uh, is not quite accurate. For example, the uh, mountain lion bill. That says the department shall design license plates to be known as mountain lion conservation plates. And <clears throat> rather specifically, the department shall design something reflecting support for the conservation of mountain lion population. That's pretty limited. You pretty much know what you got to put on that plate if you are in the department of uh, motor vehicles designing these plates. The Cornhusker spirit plates, the department shall design